Okay, you guys, see here. Thank you so much for clicking to join me in today's video. I finally bought a new serger. I'm so excited. So today I'm unboxing my new Brother 1034D overlock machine. Let's check it out. Now story time. This is my second serger. So my first serger was a Singer Pro Series, I think. I purchased it, I don't know, maybe a year or two after I got into sewing. Um, I was sewing really heavy at that point and I couldn't thread it. I could not thread the thing to save my life. When it was originally delivered, the threads had popped out of the machine. And so I tried to figure out how to thread it. I had the hardest time. So I took it to a shop here in town and they threaded it for me. And then while I was there, I had them tune up my sewing machine, which didn't need it because I'd only had it for two years and I had been taking care of it pretty well. Anyway, I just looked ridiculous. So they threaded it for me, I took it back home. It made maybe like four inches worth of serge and came unthreaded again. And I could not for the life of me figure out how to thread the thing. So it sat there. It's that collecting dust for, I don't know, six years, five or six years. And our agent who sold us this house, she mentioned that she wanted to get back into sewing and that she wanted a serger and I gave it to her. And then a year later, I've now regretted it. Our pedal foot here. Got some presser feet, cleaning, little cone sleeves. I've seen these covering cones before. I don't know. I don't know what they do, but okay. And then what is this? It's a cone cap, spool cap. What is this? Y'all gotta tell me what this is. You know, I'm just gonna have to read the manual. Presser, presser feet. More presser feet. Tweezers, cleaning brush, and looks like we have some needles. Okay, and that's it in there. And this has to go around here somewhere, right? Maybe here. Y'all, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but we're gonna find out. It looks like I might be able to get away with not threading it immediately. Because it's already threaded. The coils are supposed to look like, they don't look right though. That's not right. Okay. Let's get some scratch fabric. Let's see what we got. this chain but the red is missing why doesn't this stay how does this stay oh my I'm definitely gonna have to get the manual out I 
it looks like we lost the thread, the red thread. Let's see here. My mantra this year is quality over quantity. And I really am dedicated and driven to make pieces that lasting a really long time. Not only do I want to create a more well-rounded me-made wardrobe where I have staple pieces, but I want my garments to last me for years. While you can still accomplish that without a serger, I'm ready for a serger. I have zigzag stitched the heck out of things. I have overcast stitched the heck out of things. I've used my pinking shears so much, they have doled out countless times. It's really hard to sharpen those. So I have bought pinking shears glue. I probably bought, I don't know, half a dozen pinking shears in my sewing, <laughs> in my sewing career. So yeah, it was time. And the only reason why I was hesitant on purchasing another serger is because threading. Threading is literally, it gives me angst. It, it definitely does. It gives me angst, the idea of starting all over, trying to teach myself something else, and it not working out. Fortunately, there are tons of videos. This time, I'm just a little more mature, so I think I'm gonna take my time and give it the patience that it needs. And there are tons of YouTube videos so I will definitely be diving into the instruction, the manual, as well as watching a few more videos because I've already messed up the story. It's all right, messed up. I messed it up within five minutes of opening the box. So much so that the threads are no longer rings, they are straight. And one, one color is no longer visible. So I definitely have some work ahead of me. Now, anything I do, I research the heck out of it. I research the best sergers on the market and for various reasons why. I research which sergers can handle uh, thick, thick fabrics or heavy duty sergers and things of that nature. This serger came across as not only one of the best sergers on the market, but the easiest to thread for its capabilities. And that's why I picked it up. I also picked it up because there are several tutorials several resources online, whether it is blog form or vlog form. So I can read content and I can watch content online. So having those resources readily available to me does ease my discomfort, it eases my angst. Um, but once again, I'm truly dedicated to more quality pieces in my me made wardrobe. And I think that this serger is the game changer. I truly appreciate so many people who have recommended this or other sergers. Thank you for your input. It seems like every time I try to tackle something that has given me anxiety or things that have intimidated me, they haven't been the easiest challenges to overcome, but I have overcome them and I've really enjoyed it and I've been proud of myself. So here is my next hump and we're gonna get over it and I'm going to share my journey with you guys. So thank you so much. I've got some work to do, I've got to figure out how to get this thing threaded. And I've got all my cones back here waiting for me. And yeah, if you have this machine, please leave me some feedback or some resources that I can check out or your experience with this machine. I would greatly appreciate it, good or bad, let me know what I should brace myself for. I am so excited to add this to my repertoire. And I'm looking forward to sharing my Me Made makes with you guys with my new serger once I can figure out how to use it. But as always, I love you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.